ever so recently DJI just came out of Ronin SC, which is basically just a smaller Ronin S. Now they've taken things even smaller with this, their new product. Sleep avoidance. Incredibly compact and light. Tap cry mode, built-in scream. No axis stabilization, wide dynamic range. Nah, seriously, thank you very much, DJI. That's a nice touch. I'm sure he'll grow into it. But this right here is the new product. The Osmo Mobile 3. Let's open it up. Boom. This is the new Osmo Mobile in a sort of fetal position. So this is, this is a lot more compact than before. I mean, that is perhaps the biggest selling point is that it just folds away neatly like that. And it's, it feels quite light. Unfolded, it's not too different in size to the Mobile 2, but when it's folded, it packs into bags a lot easier than other gimbals. Yo, 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 here we go. Ooh, <laughs> I'm not that heavy. That's like an earthquake. Okay, Osmo Mobile 3. Let's put my phone on, which is iPhone 10. One thing worth noting here is that now your lightning cable port is not blocked off. And that allows you to charge the phone from the Osmo Mobile itself. Okay. Let's get that nice and balanced. That's kind of balanced, yeah? Done. Let's switch on. Press the M button. All right, now the power's on. Let's start up the app. DJI Mimo instead of Go. Using Bluetooth instead of Wi-Fi to connect makes it quite a bit quicker to get going with the important stuff. Let's get started. Oh, look, gl glamour effects. <laughs> Has that made... <laughs> Have I got big eyes? Beautify. I want to be, be, I want to be beautiful. Slim, I do not want to be any slimmer than I already am. Smooth. I don't want to get any smoother. I'll be a dolphin. Wow, look how smooth I am. White. Jesus. Almost look like Jesus. I've got a, a, quite a bit of a glow to me. And large. <laughs> Can it be used for penises? Let's have that on max. Whiten, smooth, slim. Let's see what I look like. Holy crap, I'm an alien. <laughs> That's all on. Active track. You just do that. Boom, let's record. So, hopefully, that'll keep tracking me. Ooh. Mostly, it's good. A bit further away from the camera, and when your subject turns their head, the active track has a tendency to lose track. Ah, oh, you lost me, didn't you? You bastard. Okay. But at least it works on both front and rear cameras, as well as in both landscape and portrait mode. So the active track, it doesn't work. <laughs> what was that? It doesn't quite work. It doesn't work in sports mode. Yep, sports mode just like the drones and like other recent DJI products, it also has gestures. One improvement over the Mobile 2 is how you change orientation of your phone. Now, this M button here, if I click it twice, it changes orientation. So now you don't even have to do that. You don't have to take your phone off. Neato. Yeah. And then on the side here, we've got a zoom slider, just like you'd see on any uh, compact camera. Boom. <laughs> Extreme close up. Now that is digital zoom, I must add. Don't get all excited and think suddenly you've got six times zoom on your iPhone. That's that six times zoom. Let's take a photo. Lovely shot of a potted plant. It's easy to get carried away with the features of the app. In terms of gimbly stuff, well, it just works. Oh, and another thing here, trigger button. It's just like your Ronin's. The trigger button is used for lock, recenter, and switching the front and rear camera. Also, the speed is customizable, such as the zoom speed and also the joystick speed. Nice and grippy. All right, let's go.
but it is the smart, clever software stuff that sets it apart. And then what else have we got here? We have got your time lapse and hyper lapse. It has your lapses like the Osmo Mobile 2, but for me, the Mobile 3 is a better gimbal because of the packability. It folds down so neatly. The ergonomics, which feels nicer in the hands, quick to get started, and the functions that feel easy to operate one-handed, plus the ability to switch orientation mode easier. For those who don't have a mobile gimbal ready, it's sort of a no-brainer. Even if the beauty mode will make you look like Mac from Mac and Me.